In this video, a way to track number of days since a particular event. So it could be a mess up on stream, for example. Where we can get the current status. You can also set the number of days since last mess up to reset the counter. Hello, and welcome to Streamer Bot Bytes where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome streamer bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. To install this, go to the video description below and copy the import code. In the bot, click on import, paste in the string, making sure there's no spaces afterwards. And you'll see here there's one action and one command. For the action, you'll see here there's three parts to it. The third part is only the part you really need to change. This will give a message to chat, but if you wanted this to be an action you're running on start, or at some regular occurrence, you could do this to update an element in OBS. So you can all have a visual display of the number of days. By default, the command will have permissions for everyone to run it. But fortunately, the, the way you set the days since is with a moderator, and it does do a check for the moderator permissions. So let's see what this looks like when we test. So by default, running the day since command will come up with zero. A moderator will need to set this. So for example, I want to send 10 days. Please note, this will automatically increment each day. But if a user comes along and changes it to a different value, you'll see it doesn't change it. You need to be a moderator or editor or broadcaster. So to put this into OBS instead as a counter, you need to add sub action, OBS, set GDI text. Alternatively, you can write it to a text file and pick up that in OBS. But I've got a text file here. You'd put in current days. Capitalization is important here. And that will then push in that counter to OBS. You got a Twitch message there. Now, if you want it to not use a command, or to have the command and it automatically update OBS when you start streaming. Go to Stream Apps in OBS. In the bottom tab, right click to attach the event and there's an event called Stream Started. You can then tell it to do a day since the stream started. So that means that whenever the stream has started, we can update that action but we can also run it manually to set the value, which will also set any GDI text you may have changed in there automatically. Now, the optional part of going through to explain the code. We have a day since. We set it here, so if it's not been run before, we'll go to zero. It's just good practice to do that kind of thing. We have the execute code, which will get the current day's value, and then we have the message or something like a GDI text set to display that message where we want to. So let's have a look at the execute code. We get a current time value, which gets in the current uh, time to a number of days effectively. We look at the day since. We also check if it's a moderator. Now, if it's a moderator and um, we've uh, the input zero, so if the arguments that are available have uh, input zero, so you've typed in something after the, the message, we can also check if that's not set to nothing. We can then try and change that to a number, basically. So in32.trypass says, get this input, which is a string, which you kind of need to convert to a string for it to use. Try and change it to a number and get output. And if that's successful, we'll set that success here. 
So if it's successful, we can update the days since. Otherwise, we set a global variable of days since. Well, so we, no, we'll set that um, too. So if that's successful change to a number, we'll both get the days since um, So if that's successful, we'll get a new day since value set. So that's going to be the current day minus the input. So if it's 10 days since, it's going to be the number of days that we get from this function here, minus 10 to get that value. We then set that as a global variable to use for future calls to this. If we're not a moderator or if we have no input as well, we will then get that global variable and then we'll set an argument of current days which is the current time which is the count of today and then the count of days since converting that to a string so it can then be sent um, to chat or into a text file as we want and then we return true and there we go all wrapped up please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this if there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.